boys and girls today because it's such a beautiful day and the birds are outside chirping. Maybe you could be able to hear them in the background. I'm going to read you the bird alphabet book by Jerry Pallotta and illustrated by Edgar Stewart. And a long time ago, in 1989, Jerry Pallotta, the author, wrote J is for Jesse. That's my daughter, Jerry Pallotta, 1989. We got to meet him at a bookstore, actually in Hingham. A. A is for Atlantic Puffin. Atlantic Puffins have colorful beaks. They live on the ocean almost all year. When nesting on land, they are found in groups called colonies. B. B is for bat. Hey, wait a second. Bats aren't birds. Bats are mammals. Even though they have wings and they can fly, they do not have feathers. Get out of this book, you bats. Now that the bats have gone, let's find a bird whose name begins with the letter B. B is for blue-footed booby. Boobies are seabirds. They can be found eating fish, which they catch by diving into the ocean. The other bird on this page is a red-footed booty. C, I bet you know what this is. C is for crocodile bird. Crocodile birds fly right into the open mouths of crocodiles. They eat the leftover food around the crocodile's teeth. The bird always has something to eat and the crocodile has nice clean teeth. Ooh, I don't think I'd want to go into a crocodile's mouth. D is for duck. There are many different kinds of ducks. There are wood ducks, Mallard ducks, pintails, black ducks, harlequin ducks, canvasbacks, ruddy ducks, mast ducks, ringneck ducks, and many more. Have you ever fed the ducks? E is for eagle. E is for eagle. These eagles are bald eagles, but they are not really bald. Their heads are covered with beautiful white feathers. The bald eagle is the national emblem of the United States, and it can be seen on the back of a quarter and a dollar bill. F is for flamingos. Flamingos have very long necks and very long legs. Their beaks are curved, and sometimes they like to stand on one leg. And what color are flamingos? Pink. G is for goose. G is for gosling. Goslings are baby geese. When they are young, they like to follow their parents around. The birds on this page are called Canada geese. Oh, this is one of my favorites. H is for hummingbird. Hummingbirds are tiny birds that fly really fast. Their long beaks are perfect for sucking nectar out of flowers. I have hummingbirds at my hummingbird feeder. I is for indigo bunting. The male indigo bunting is beautifully bright blue from its head to the tip of its tail. The female is plain colored so that it is hard to find when it sits in its nest. J is for jackana. Wow, what big feet. Jackanas have feet that are just right for standing on lily pads. They are also called lily trotters because they hop from lily pad to lily pad. K is for kiwi. The kiwi is a bird that cannot fly. It has wings, it lays eggs, it has a beak, and it has feathers just like other birds. But if it wants to go somewhere, it has to walk. L is for lovebird. These birds are very colorful. They are called lovebirds because they like to sit close together. They usually look like they are hugging and kissing each other. M is for meadowlark. Meadowlarks build their hard-to-find nests on the ground. 
People love meadowlarks because they sing cheerfully for hours at a time. N is for Northern Cardinal. This is one of the few birds that is almost entirely red. Sometimes it is simply called a red bird. We have many cardinals here at my house. O is for Oyster Catcher. This bird is able to stick its beak into oysters and clams and pry them open. It lives near coastal mudflats where it can find plenty of shellfish to eat. You all know this one. P is for penguin. Penguins cannot fly in the sky. It is fun to watch them swim because it looks like they are flying when they are underwater. Q is for Quetzal. The Quetzal is a bright green bird with an extremely long tail. It is found in Central America. Because there are so few of these birds, they are considered to be an endangered species. Look how long the tail is. R. R is for Roadrunner. Roadrunners can fly when they want to, but they usually prefer to run. Roadrunners live in the desert and they chase and catch little lizards for food. S. S is for Spoonbill. Can you believe it? This bird has a bill that looks just like a spoon. The baby spoonbills do not grow their wide spoon-shaped bills until they get older. See their spoon? T is for toucan. The toucan has a very long and wide beak. Its beak is so big that you might think a toucan would not be able to fly. However, the beak is really not very heavy. Very colorful beak. U is for umbrella bird. This is a black jungle bird. The feathers around the top of its head are shaped like an umbrella, but when it rains, the umbrella does not keep its head dry. V is for vulture. Vultures have hardly any feathers on their heads. Maybe vultures are the birds that should be called bald. Instead of the bald eagle, it should be called a bald vulture. W is for white-faced scops owl. This owl lives in Africa. It hides in trees waiting for a chance to swoop down on insects and other small creatures. Owls make very little noise when they fly. Do you ever hear owls hooting out in the woods at night? X is for Xenops. This is probably the only bird whose name begins with X. Unlike most birds, the Xenops has a beak that is curved upwards. Y. Y is for yellow-bellied sapsucker. The yellow-bellied sapsucker is a woodpecker that got its crazy name because it drinks sap out of its favorite trees. It has a tongue with a brush-like tip. I bet you hear woodpeckers out in the woods picking on trees, don't you? Z. Z is for zillions of zebra finches. These Australian birds have pretty black and white striped tails. See their tails? The end. And here's a beautiful peacock. And there are some bird feet. Those actually look like turkey feet to me. I hope you enjoyed this story about birds. And when you're out in your yard, be sure to look around and listen for all the birds. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.